Dear audience, in this video session, we will explore the operations of the Shuffle Exchange Network and Omega Interconnection Network. Additionally, we will delve into cell loss or path contention and discuss potential solutions to address these challenges. Our main goal is to review the network topologies of interconnection networks, followed by an examination of the actions of a two-port switch and a visual demonstration of its operation. We will then explore the shuffle exchange network using an example, examine the construction and operation of the Omega network, and finally, discuss the occurrence of path contention with cell loss and propose solutions to mitigate it. As depicted in the figure presented here, the network is composed of both static and dynamic components. The static networks are further categorized into one, two, and three-dimensional networks. The dynamic network consists of single-stage and multi-stage interconnection networks. In this video session, our focus will be solely on exploring the shuffle exchange and omega network. Now, we will examine the Shuffle Exchange Network. The network depicted here is referred to as the Shuffle Exchange Network. The configurations of the Shuffle Exchange Network in the figure demonstrate how multiple paths can be concurrently established within the network. For instance, the figure illustrates the simultaneous creation of three paths connecting the input-output pairs 000 to 101, 101 to 011 and 110 to 010. It's important to note that the interconnection pattern between stages adheres to the shuffle operation. To grasp the data routing mechanism in the shuffle exchange network, it is essential to comprehend the functionality of the two-port switch. In this illustration, it is evident that the data is present at the upper port. If we focus on the routing 0, the data at the upper port is directed to the upper output port. Similarly, the data routing 1 will direct the data to the lower output port as illustrated here. In the scenario where the data is present at the lower input port identified as one input, upon examining the data routing for zero, it will be routed to the upper output port. Similarly, for routing one scenario the data at the lower port will be directed to the lower output port. Let us now try to understand the operation of Shuffle Exchange Network with appropriate example. Let's analyze the data at the port 000 with the destination port marked as 101. The destination port address serves as the routing information for each stage of the operation as illustrated below. The first bit from the left side, MSB, of the destination address corresponds to the first stage switching action. In this case, it is 1, and consequently, the data at the port 000 is routed to the lower output port, as indicated in the illustration. Now, focusing on the middle bit, which is 0, indicates that the data present at the input of the switch in the second stage should be directed to the upper output port, as illustrated. In conclusion, the last bit, LSB, of the destination address being 1 signifies that the data at the input port of the third stage switch will be routed to the lower output port, corresponding to the destination port 101.
Now, let's delve into the operation of the Omega network. But before that, we'll examine its properties. An N input Omega network necessitates log to N stages of two times two switches. Each stage of this network is interconnected in a consistent manner. Each stage comprises N by two switch boxes, with each switch box being in one of four states, straight, exchange, upper broadcast, or lower broadcast. A flawless shuffle exchange interconnection is established between each consecutive stage of the Omega network. The interconnections between the stages in an Omega network are determined by the rotate left operation on the bits. This operation is denoted by the symbol S, signifying a shuffle, where S000 transforms into 000. In this operation, only the least significant bit is shifted or rotated to the left by one bit position. For instance, S001 transforms into 010 in the subsequent shuffle example. Now, let's attempt to construct an Omega network with three stages accommodating eight input ports identified as 0 through 7. We will first consider the port denoted by 000 and apply a shuffle. If we apply shuffle to 000 the LSB shifts to left by one bit position and the bit pattern remains the same. So, the input port denoted by 000 gets connected to the upper port of the first stage switch as shown here. We will now apply similar technique to establish the connections to the next stages as shown in the figure here. Let's initiate the construction by considering input port 1, represented as 001, and apply a shuffle operation. The output after the shuffle would be 010. Consequently, input port 001 is connected to the upper input of the switch. Analogously, similar connections are established for the remaining input ports. Following the technique mentioned, we can now see the fully connected Omega Interconnection Network. Now, let's examine the operation of the Omega Interconnection Network. Consider a data packet routed from port 0, represented as 000, to the destination port with the address 100. The routing technique employed here is known as destination tag routing or self-routing. Each bit of the destination port serves as the switching information for each stage of the Omega network. Thus, the first bit, the most significant bit, MSB, determines the switching action for the first stage. In this case, since it is 1, the data will be directed to the lower port of the first stage switch. Continuing with our examination, let's focus on the middle bit of the destination port with the address 100. This bit, being 0, dictates the switching action for the second stage. 
Consequently, the data will be directed to the upper port of the second stage switch. On our final stages of examination, let's focus on the least significant bit of the destination port with the address 100. This bit, being 0, dictates the switching action for the third stage. Consequently, the data will be directed to the upper port of the second stage switch. As intended, the data packet originating from port 0 successfully reaches port 4, following the prescribed routing path through the stages of the Omega network. In this segment, we'll delve into a crucial aspect of our discussion, namely path contention or cell loss. Let's explore the scenario where a data packet originates from port 0 to port 4 and simultaneously another packet travels from port 4 to port 5. Both packets have destination addresses of 100, port 4 and 101, port 5 respectively. Since the most significant bits in both destination addresses are high, the data will be routed to the lower port in the first stage, leading to a collision. In such cases, the packet with the higher order destination number, i.e., the packet destined for port 5, will be prioritized and allowed to pass through the network, while the other packet may be lost. Now, Let's explore potential solutions to address the issue highlighted earlier in this section, which involves path contention and the resulting cell loss. The proposed procedure involves sorting the data packets based on their destinations, ensuring that there are no gaps at the inputs for any of the data packets, avoiding duplicate destinations to prevent conflicts and path contention. Now, let's observe the example presented in the video, where the approach to prevent cell loss or path contention has been implemented. The packets are applied at the input ports following a sorted order, ensuring there are no gaps and avoiding duplicate addresses. I trust that the elucidation of the shuffle exchange and Omega network was clear and comprehensible. Thank you for tuning into this video session. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, I kindly request you to do so for more engaging technical and educational content.